In this video, we're going to take a look at something that has been available for Angular and React, but not Blazor until now. So just the other day, a colleague of mine asked me, okay, so I'm viewing the Blazor site here. How do I find this source code for a specific component? And as I mentioned, this is something that has been available for Angular and React, but not Blazor. So we are going to take a look at something called find racer source file. This is a NuGet package as well as a Visual Studio extension. It works for Visual Studio 2019, 2022, as well as Visual Studio Code. So let's have a look. Now I'm a Visual Studio guy. So here we have Visual Studio. So we can go here to extensions, manage extensions, and simply browse for find racer. That should be enough. There we go. Find racer source file. Now this is already installed on my machine, but otherwise just click install. And here we have all the instructions that we need, but I'm going to show you everything. So we don't need to read that for now. So we got the plugin running in our instance here. So what we have here is a Blazor web app template project. So we're going to use this web app template for this demo. So what we need is to add a NuGet package to our client project. So in our client project, let's just right click here and manage NuGet packages. So let's search, let's do find racer source dot web assembly. Let's select that one and install it. So now when we have that installed, we can go to our program. And in our program, we're going to add builder dot use find racer source file. And we also need to make sure that we have that namespace installed. There we go. And this is all that we have to do. So now if I run the project, I can press control shift F. And you can see that I can now hover. So I can see that blazer app three dot client is the project name and pages slash home dot racer is the component. And I can continue. I can go over here. So that's that was the layout page. A layout nav menu. But the really cool thing is when I click it, it navigates to that component. So now I have nav menu. If I go back and I go to hello world here, and I click that one. I now navigate to that component inside of Visual Studio. Now, what about Visual Studio Code? Well, if we go back here, I'm actually in the way of that one. Let me minimize that just a little bit. We can see that we have find racer source file down here. And if I click that one, I can check open the racer file of the click component in VS Code. So if I click that one, well, I still go back to Visual Studio because I'm running Visual Studio, but I also get this pop up. Do you want to open this file in Visual Studio Code? So if I click open, we'll see that it actually opens up in Visual Studio Code as well. So we got all of these really nice features. So if you're running Visual Studio, just add the uh, extension and add the NuGet package. One for server, one for WebAssembly. And if you're running Visual Studio Code, you don't need an extension. You just need to add the NuGet package either for server or for WebAssembly. The extension is available inside of Manage Extension inside of Visual Studio. And the same thing goes for the NuGet packages inside of Visual Studio. So check out the source code. It's a really good example of how to use browser link. I actually didn't know you could just integrate that into your projects or your extension. Also worth mentioning is that if you're running WebAssembly, all this functionality is going to be trimmed away. So you don't need to worry about adding some extra DLLs or extra functionality. Your end user is never going to see this. And I got to be honest, this is kind of the functionality that I never knew I needed. I've gotten this question for a long time. So how do I get to the source code? If I'm looking at the site, how do I get to the source code? Because this is something that Angular and React has had for a 
long time as I understand it, and it hasn't been available for Blazor until now. So thank you so much, Unichi, for making this available. This is going to make my presentations a whole lot easier because I can now answer the question, how do I find the component or the source from the component? So go to his GitHub page. I'm going to link it in the description below and give him a star, give him a follow because everything Unichi does is, well, purely amazing. And you should definitely follow him. So thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, please like and subscribe so that we can make more content like this. See you in the next video.